G'day, today we're going to have a look at a game coming out soon called Forward Defense. Uh, this one I have been given the key by the devs, thank you devs, uh, to just have a check it out and see what it's like. Alright, so mission briefing. Multiple fires have broken out an oil refinery in western Kardistan. We suspect RFA force has sabotaged nearby pipelines in an attempt to cripple coalition supply lines. Your orders are to secure the area, set up blocking positions and present facility from falling into enemy hands. just want to jump back quickly, uh, definitely no tutorial. I want to make sure that I'm not just skipping on because a lot of times a tutorial would help me out, but no, we are all good. So hopefully it uh, either explains it here or it's nice and easy to pick up. Um, so this one should be a tower defense -y sort of game, which is definitely up my alley. Okay, so we've got 18 waves, 5 lives, 4 million credits. It's a European way of doing it where it's dots for commas, commas for dots. Okay, so this is our battlefield. Are we defending this? Aerial structures, range indicators, versatile defense barriers, which uh, provide perimeter protection. So we can build that. Can I rotate? Was our settings controls? Give me a look. So we've got camera rotation, camera zoom outs. All right. Now all these guys seem to be facing that same one way. Oh, I can rotate the camera. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. uh. So E rotates the camera. He rotates it back the other way. Good. I flip that around because surely we can, uh, unless we're being attacked, surely we're not being attacked by that direction. Ah, okay, here we go. So we've got an arrow in, arrow in up there, arrow in over here, and those are the points. We've got to defend, so we've got to stop guys getting all the way through. Now I refuse to believe that this that isn't rotatable. Is it that if I put it down I can drag it? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's try and start at the source here. Do we have guys coming in this way too? Possibly, I mean it's that same entrance point. Well, let's start at the very back then, so... We are sort of funneling them down towards this point. And let's have a look at the towers. So we've got a point defense auto cannon capable of an extremely high sustained rate of fire. Costs me 800,000. Damage output 45, rate of fire 1,000. So that's 400 at a rate of fire of 400. So that seems like a way more damage Projectile capacity, what's the reload time? Reload time's short too, okay, so I'm liking the burst cannon. It's a very slow rate of fire. So we're going to ignore him for now. Very slow. And we're going to, we're going to start off at least with some fast firing. So, yep, okay, there's an arrow there too. So we've got guys that are going to be coming down all the way here. I don't know what the value is in... The walls. Like, a guy's going to be firing back at me. Do I need to have my guy sitting behind walls? Walls cost me 200,000. They do have health. And the fact that everyone has health suggests that that is going to be something of value. So I have... Relocate. Cool. Alright, so that relocating is not too... Uh, Big deal. Let's get this guy in here. Then we've got two more ways this way. So we want to have one guy, I'd say, won't worry about walls from just yet. Put one there. And I guess we can ro uh, rotate. Uh, uh, Relocate at the end of the next wave. They were just shy. 
because I must have spent something for the thing. So let's sell that, and we'll opt instead for a... No, I need a thousand, so that was a waste of the construction. So let's... Uh, relocate cost me. It does. It just cost me two thousand, so it's not, like, disastrous. And that these guys... Um, so I actually reckon it's better to try and spin that guy while it's in a red zone as opposed to in a um, while it's in a placeable position. Okay, so deploy wave one. What's that? Is that telling me what's coming? All right, here come some guys. And lesson learned about where the first wave of guys are, are passing through. So. Let's go back to the start. So we now know it's this point here that they're actually going to hit on wave one. So while in the red, we will turn this guy around. We will go one. We will go two. No, that's not perfectly straight. We're going to live with it. Okay. Then we'll put this guy as far into that corner as we can go. Uh, then we'll take this guy and put him in a similar spot. They have a nice range too. So let's um complement them with the faster firing guys that are slightly cheaper. Or one of them. Now we're to wave two. I get the nuts. They're now going a different way, but I don't have an attempt to correct. This guy's going to sink me. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him play through because I want to see when I get my next um my next chance to move. Play next wave. You cannot build or repair once hostile forces have started. Right. Okay. So two waves. I didn't accidentally start that second wave, did I? All right. So lesson learnt there will be that we go. Um, I'm not sure that they're that important as our sort of first things to get going. We can repair guys. This first lot aren't going to kill us. So then we'll go one there. We'll go accompanying machine gun dude there. And we will put big boom cannon there. Uh, and that does leave us enough for his mate, the rotating cannon. They go in there too. So while that's red, let's adjust it to sort of block out. There. Um, we're going to have confidence that these guys are going to kill them before they get side on from them. So we're just going to block in front. All right, here we go. I'm curious, did I accidentally deploy wave two? I don't understand why that guy cuts down that, that like, inside. So it does say deploy wave 2. I did not realize I did that. Almost all I want to go watch the instant replay of that, see what I did. Okay, repair all structures. We can afford another one of these guys so I reckon it'll be worth having one in seeing that everyone so far has come down this same one direction it's 
put him down there so you can sort of chip away at someone if they make it through. Interestingly, that's two guys coming down the same road that turn two different ways, so they're not pathing on a like best direct course. They're um they're picking their like they're they're just sort of like on a, a on task, I guess. So with that in mind, I'm gonna really move myself way further up than I have. Oh, it was this guy here that made me push back. That's right. All right, so. Let's um take another one of these guys and place him central to this side. Give us the option of both sides of this thing being covered. Um, if someone does come down this right-hand side, we have no defenses that are going to stop him. He's going to be pretty, pretty clear. It's going to be him. No. Is this going to be him? No. be nice as a little like hint as to where the next guy's coming so I don't know where I should be sort of protecting next obviously like if I played the level enough times I've been failing it I can go okay wave three is this and that's where I've gotten sunk so I need to just correct I feel like a um can't do one yet, but another cannon sort of push back down here might be good. I also am liking the way of, of playing this where I'm looking at everyone just on the same one area. Like, this is such a long battlefield that I realize I've got um, so many options of where to build, but um, at least playing this way, I can see where my, um, like, where I'm, I'm, I guess, strong or weak in my, my defense. Um, let's build a barricade back here. Just future plan build dude there. I do think that the cannons are the real important ones here. Um, I mean, I really should try something else. Yeah, that's sort of... The locations of the roads... I mean, here would really give great coverage of that um, left-hand side road, but it doesn't really do much for anything else. To, to a point that... Um, I mean, the band that he actually does hit seems so minimal. I don't know. I'd give this guy a go just to try something different. I think this central point here is a pretty good S bed. Got enough money to put someone else in, but I think the burst. Uh, yeah, we'll put a, a rotary cannon back this way because they just to sort of chip off someone at the end. So I, I do want that faster fire for my uh, my final line, guys. We want the heavy hits up front. Just like that. <laughs> exactly like that. Okay, so that's showing as well that we are getting a bit weaker on this right-hand side. How it's a... Uh, do, do I get any reports on damage done? Or am I just getting told about... No, no, uh, as a whole, this is everywhere covered. All right, so howitzer, not so bad. How to you? Um, let's put him, I guess, a slightly more central position there. These two roads on the, on the left, him there. 
in the barricade as well. I was going to say, the fact that cars got so far through is a bad sign for that last one. However, the uh, smoothbore cannon seemed to do an alright job on that right hand side. I just flat out destroyed our um, barricade on the right. Missile launcher. Again, it's a very thin band that that is sort of operating in. That it just it doesn't seem like it's going to be a lot of. There's not a lot of value there. I mean, I imagine that the damage that they're doing it must be the area of effect or something. I mean, their accuracy is medium too. That goes low. I don't want to bet on smoothbore. Seems to be really. The, the heavy hitting cannon that we want to be using based on those numbers. Probably want the smooth bore a little bit more central, so let's put all let's just put him with the other two. Oh. And what's meant to be what info am I meant to be having in this holy cow? That'll wake you up. Those guys really wanted to knock them out. Am I allowed to, um, there's no upgrades. So I've got close range, hard targets, soft targets. Prioritize units with the smallest amount of health. This prioritization is useful for so quick killing off weaker units. All right, cool. So let's play with this a bit. So we're going to say target prior prioritization is going to be Hard units. Is that acknowledging that I'm selecting that? Is this a list that I drag? No. I. Quite sure that's reading me or not. There's nowhere that it really says like what what one's currently selected. Just that that's the default one. Alright. Leave it as is, I suppose. Okay. So, uh, 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 what we want to do... We've got three milli. I think smoothbore cannons are the way of the future. So, let's get a... Another one. Sort of a bit more... Up here. Still just being able to see that. This bit here. Tuck him in there. Um, can't fit that in there. I suppose I can just relocate this guy slightly to the right side cover. This guy's all no punches. And at this point, do I just sort of build double barricades? Sort of make a line like, say, this. Then put cannon behind that, because his range is still good enough to the effect and all of that. Right, let's Good. Right, they lost their these guys are also taking it pretty hard so let's go relocate back here you relocate back here let's give you a second barricade uh I wanted that in between, but let's see if I can fit a third one in between. I guess we'll try out some of the other 
weapons too once we uh I feel like on here I should be getting some info or that window should be going away. Like what cars are currently active? What's coming for me? Talk to me about these guys. They're not a lot of damage output, I mean. These guys are. I wanted to see the effect our, um, our triple walls had. Seems to have done its job. Okay, so... Repair all. This guy did take a little bit of a beating there again, so let's drop him further back. We'll put another wall uh, just across the angle of them. This guy... Uh, who was it? It was these two guys in the middle too, so let's relocate him a little bit back, and we'll relocate him. A little bit back. Go one. And leave my wall facing the last one I put. Mad. And three. And let's go a... Still sticking with the smooth ones. Now, what ones of these can I afford? I can't afford him because of what I've just done. Uh... I guess there he's sort of is hitting a, a bit of a range, so let's see how he does. Although I suppose I want him hitting further up, so let's relocate him to like we want him hitting guys before they hit us. But even then, he's not he's not shooting that much further forward. And I mean, if I put him down here, he's at least hitting a lot of that road on the left. So let's let's use this as our test position for him. It does seem like at the moment we're getting hit a lot earlier than when we're hitting them. It doesn't seem like... I'm not feeling that there's like a... a... A cannon that's sort of like should be doing that task. And I mean, it doesn't seem like he's doing that much damage. Like the consistency of his fire is so slow. 15 per minute versus, say, this guy... I mean, he's only 16 per minute. That guy just feels like he's doing doing the hard yards. Okay. It's that accuracy as well, I suppose, is the uh, questionable part for me. So I am just going to live and die with smoothbore cannons. enough credits? Oh. Alright. Speed up the first part where they sort of get to us. Alright. I mean, you can say he's engaged, but he's just engaged with that front wall. How about it? I think the other takeaway here from what you just saw with uh, this section is this middle wall isn't worth it. So for example, this the second wall got destroyed because the first wall was getting attacked. Like it um it wasn't sort of creating a greater defense. It was just getting hit in that same swing. So that gap between them seems like it's worthwhile so for this guy so we'll just shift that wall further forward as opposed to giving them their third wall back uh none of the other walls really seem to take it too too bad so that's all good now this guy has a range that i can get behind so 
I'm gonna put him there. Can't afford a second one of them, can I? Did I have a missile launcher yet? No, and I still won't, because I can't afford him. Speed up till someone gets in range or fires a shot at us. that missile guy's doing some good work. We will invest in a second one of them. The other thing too is I've just got these guys too close to that wall. Like, that wall taking damage is just hitting them anyway, so they So I should have, say, wall one. Relocate these guys like another healthy distance back from that wall. Uh, and let's repair all. Same thing, we can relocate these guys just a slight bit back. Uh, and let's get these guys a rocket artillery. Yeah, you can sit about there. Let's give them another one, because that's a pretty good range. He's hitting there. Uh, and I'll just put a wall there, just in case anyone tries to shoot across. I don't think they will, because they seem to be going for the closest thing to them. Yeah, right. Those artillery seem to be... Uh Worthwhile, be a way to put it. Okay, let's continue to um, sort of play the game in no touchy. Let's hold on to our two million to try and buy another one. Guys, cook down the bottom. <laughs> oh. All right. It's rotary cannons doing his stuff. So we lost someone. That was is that the howitzer? I don't think he's worth uh, bringing back. So the interesting thing was that these guys all switched to the left. These guys switched to the right, and that the guys coming down the middle left completely um, unattached. So, where can we go to sort of ensure that they might get a bit more focus? I did notice though that the um, um, they did like hit buildings. So if there was a building in the way, that was it. That building was gonna basically keep them safe protection from behind it. So we'll build those two guys. Uh, we'll say repair everyone else. We will put the wall back that we lost there. The wall back that we lost there. Uh, and let's sneak a wall in there. And um, that guy at the back did quite well, the rotary cannon. Even on that would seem to be a high level um, Mark, he just seemed to do his thing. Yeah, we are we are in a new age here of, of rocket artillery, taking names. I don't, I've keep sort of like moving these guys far enough back that they can cover that road. It's like that road no one has traveled down. Who's strategically going to run parallel to the uh, the defenses? Yeah, 
Let me get the $10,000 worth of repairs in that one. there is like upgrading between rounds or anything that I can actually make these walls take more damage I mean understandable if I, I can't because the game would almost be over if I was paying the same amount for defenses that just couldn't get broken through and um and that was all I needed to do probably could have spent more on my six million dollars to bolster up for this the final wave Again, they're ignoring the middle here. They're all shifting to who's the closest. They're all moving together. Mission complete. I mean, we're still developing here, but it would not be nice to get some stats, or... Uh, or do we get stats on this page? Ah, there we go. And we've got a couple of maps there to, to check out. But that one will do us for today, because it's hit us probably about the normal time we look at one of these. Uh, so there we go. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.